if you didn't know this about me, let me clue you in. I am a big metalhead. And, um, you know, that means I listen to bands such as, like, Metallica, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath. You know who is not on that list? Exactly. That's the topic of our video. I'm going to be listening to her entire discography today. Let's start with... Okay, so, first things first. The self-titled album... The, it's terrible. It's, it's awful. Um... Why is it a country album? Um, I was kind of initially going, oh, well, you know, it's just kind of maybe a few tracks all in a row in the beginning. I wouldn't have to listen to this for 50 minutes. I was sadly mistaken because <laughs> was the whole album and it wasn't good there was like I don't know two alright songs the first two but like other than that I mean Tim Lagu, um it's the worst possible way you could start your music career apparently um, okay, um, this isn't fun, it wasn't fun to listen to, picture the burn, it's, gives off some cheesy 90s song vibes, apparently that's a good thing, yeah, um, Head up to my guitar is horrendous. Sorry, knife. Um, a place in this world. Uh, no wonder she hasn't recorded this one again yet. Ha ha ha. Um, cold as you. Someone put me out of my misery. Was my thoughts on that one. The outside. I keep hoping every song isn't country and every time I'm disappointed. That's about my general summary of that album as a whole. Um, Stay Beautiful. People keep saying, can you believe this was written by a teenager in a math class? Uh, yeah, I can. Because it's, it's terrible. Um, Mary's song, Oh My My My. I'm so glad this album is almost over because I cannot physically handle any more of this. I don't think I like this album very much. Um, our song, I'm so glad the misery's over. Um, yeah, the album was, that album was hot garbage. 2.2 out of 10. <sighs> Let's hope it picks up in. Fearless. The time track. Oh no, please don't say this is going to be another country album too. At least it's better than most of the songs of the previous album. Oh... 15. Um, I don't know if this is just overexposure or something, but I'm actually not minding this now. Oh, uh, it's not good, but it doesn't make me want to rip my eardrums out. 
love story. Each song is getting better and better than the previous. This is the first song I've heard from either of the first two albums where I say it's actually good. Yep, this song slaps. Let's hope she can keep this up for the rest of the album. Hey, Stefan. Still incredibly generic, but at least it's way more tolerable than the previous album's worst stuff. White Horse, probably the worst song from the album, something I would more expect from the debut. You Belong With Me, another banger from the album, this album is definitely a big step up from the debut. Yeah, this album is very much better than the first one, it's not, it's, it's not a masterpiece, okay guys? Breathe, it's more generic country music. Tell me why another banger, uh, maybe this album is actually good. Uh, you're not sorry? Another banger? Um, yeah, this album is a banger. Wanted. 
looks like this album is trying to pull a feelers, but not as well. Um, I love the symphonic sound on Wanted, apparently. Last kiss. No, it's back to the weak stuff again. Uh, long live. Still pretty mid. Uh, overall, there was some brief moments of enjoyment. But overall, I'd probably never listen to it again. Uh, it is definitely a big step down from... Uh, the previous, but I give it a 5.4 out of 10. Will go, we'll things go back to being good again in... I'm gonna stop doing that, but it's fun, right? Uh, State of Grace. The intro, it's really good. The song itself, it's also really good. Trick. Uh, the intro sounds like a ringtone. I don't think that's a good idea. Definitely better than the previous and the one of her better songs as a whole. Oh, it is really good actually. The ringtone part wasn't bad apparently. Uh, Treacherous. Certainly not anything special, but I'm really enjoying the less country sound. Oh yeah, that did happen on this album. Uh, I didn't like the country stuff from the first three albums. This one, it was still kind of there, but it wasn't there. So it was like, actually good. Uh, I knew you were in trouble. I remember this song being super overplayed on the radio when it came out. So it's kind of been like overplayed for me. But other than that, just a little banger. Kind of, not really. It's, it's just overplayed, okay? If it was like my first time listening to it, I wouldn't like it. But it's not. Um, All Too Well, another song that's pretty good. Maybe we found them that's superior to Fearless. 22. Now, I remember singing this song really loudly in the morning one day. Day. It was the morning. Uh, like really loudly. And then later that afternoon, I went to the shops and I told my dad, Have you ever heard that uh, 22 song? It's really, really good. And he's like, Yeah, I heard you singing it this morning. Um, that was my earliest memory of that song. Uh, definitely my favourite of hers from the whole discography so far. I almost do. Can't believe we've gotten almost halfway through the album and there hasn't been any stinkers yet. Uh, we are never getting back together. Another one that's super overplayed, but also... It's a massive banger. Stay, stay, stay. It's simple, yet effective. Yet the instrumental sounds like a Minecraft 2013 background music. <laughs> the last time. Uh, the male jumps... The male... The, la, la, la. the male singing jump scared me. Not gonna lie. The song, yeah, the song's kind of mad. Uh, Holy Ground, the build-up is pretty good. Um, but it, it, it was like the whole song. There was no, it was just build-up. And then there was nothing else. Sad, uh, beautiful, tragic, this album. Uh, started so good, but it's such a shame it's starting to fall off now. Uh, the lucky one. Definitely a step up from the previous few songs, but still, it's not really a banger. It's better than like the past two or three. Not a stand. Everything has changed. Completely forgot the song even existed. Got blasted with nostalgia, because this was another overplayed one. I, I 
think it took a lot of her songs on the radio when I was like four, apparently. Um, but yeah, it's another manner. Yeah. Uh, isn't that the count from the boys? Starlight is another banger from the album. Uh, Begin Again is a pretty good closer. And the overall review, easily the best album so far. She kind of lessens the country sound. Uh, it's kind of got like the best parts of her two, the second and third ones. And then just kind of, and there's like, when it's, the, the, the worst parts in the album aren't that bad. And the best parts are really, really good. So it's the best one so far, with a 7.8 out of 10. Will the streak continue in 1989, not four, nine. This is like six weeks after making that other part of the video, which is why I have a haircut and I'm wearing a different shirt. Mind blowing, mind blowing. I didn't say that. So, why does it say 1984? Anyway, uh, 1989. Uh, my general thoughts on the album, the track, uh, Welcome to New York. I hadn't heard it in years, but it is actually pretty good, but it's probably because of nostalgia. The main reason. Uh, Blank Space is one of my favorite songs from her, and I remember vibing to it in my closet when I was eight. That was a very true story. Uh, style. Another one I heard when I was a kid. How are there so many songs that I heard when I was a kid that I'm only now hearing again now? Um, but yeah, style is really, really good. Um, Out of the Woods, once again, kind of slaps. I really like it. Apparently, all you had to do was stay is actually not very good. It's pretty repetitive and annoying. Um, shake it off. Uh, unlike some of her other ones that I've heard heaps of times from when being a kid, this one isn't very good. It is very overplayed and very annoying to this day. Um, it is overplayed and it's just straight up bad. Uh, the drum beat's kind of cool though. That's about it. Uh, I wish you would. Pretty alright. Uh, nothing really good, but nothing really that bad either. Um, Bad Blood. Once again, another overplayed one, but this one is really good. I remember watching the music video in this one when I was a kid. I think it was like an action movie. Was it Kendrick Lamar in that one? Or something like that? Wildest Dreams. Another one, uh, completely forgot about, but it's alright. How'd you get the girl? Or how you... whatever. Definitely one of the better songs on the album. This Love, kinda mid, just like this album. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not liking this album. I didn't like this album very much, if you couldn't tell. I had, I had some, huh? I had some pretty high highs on this album, but there's also some pretty not good. Um, I know places. This one's actually good. This album seems to have every other song be good in every other song be bad um clean just like most of the album it follows the every other song format which makes this one be not very good overall review yeah it had some bangers 
but overall it's pretty overwhelming. Definitely prefer some of her other stuff. This one's like a 5 out of 10. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, there's too, it's too poppy and all that for my liking. But will, will it improve in the next one? Maybe. Reputation. This one. Uh, let's just get into it. Ready for it? Question mark? It sounds like generic disco music. A skull emoji. End game. Sounds like something people at my work would listen to. On the speakers. Because that's what we have at my work. Uh, and that's not a good thing. They have very bad music taste. I did something bad. The sound kind sounds really generic. Probably the worst one since the self-titled. I wonder what my overall opinion would be. Spoilers, it's not very good. Don't blame me. Man, this one just, just keeps on proving my point. Delicate. I don't like the robotic effect. It's not terrible, but there's far better. Uh, look what you made me do. Super repetitive and annoying. Probably her worst song. Because uh, normally they're just bland and forgettable. This one is one that I specifically dislike. I, I do not like it specifically. I, it is one of her worst songs. It's probably not her worst song. I'd probably rather listen to that than like the country stuff, but it is not good. It's definitely the worst one from this album. Uh, so it goes, not bad, but just kind of blends in too much. Gorgeous, probably the best song on the album so far, and it's only a six out of 10. That one is actually pretty, that one's pretty good. Getaway Car, this one's also pretty good, but it's still like a seven out of 10. King of My Heart, and now we're back to the generic stuff. And uh, Dancing With Our Hands Tied, kind of mid, but it's better than terrible. Dress is pretty bad. Yeah, I just kind of gave up on these last ones, didn't I? This is why we kind of have nice things. Some more mid music. Call it what you want, even more mid forgettable music. This album is very not good. Call it what you want, just even more mid forgettable music. New Year's Day, just bad ending to a bad album. Easily her worst album since the debut. Yikes. Which really leans too much on the popular side instead of striking a perfect balance like Red or Fearless. Yeah, I thought the, the bloody other one, 1986 or whatever, was too poppy. This one, this one is, too, is really bad. Uh, if those are what you should do right, this is what you should do wrong. Those being red and fearless. Uh, it was like a 3 out of 10. Not very good. But, uh, will it improve? Probably. Yeah, definitely. Love. I've heard this one's pretty good. So, let's see. Probably to be better than bad mutation. Got him. Uh, I forgot that you existed. Honestly, kind of catchy, and is already better than ninety percent of what was on Reputation. Cruel cool Summer, definitely one of my favourites from her. An absolute perfect pop song. That is definitely like top three favourites from her. I say that about a lot of her songs though. Uh, Lover, definitely weaker than the other two, but it's not like bad, it's like a 6 out of 10. Uh, the Man, pretty catchy, definitely vibing to this one, that was another one I really liked. Um, the Archer, kind of sounds like a filler track, normally that isn't a very good thing. I Think He Knows is um, pretty annoying, definitely the worst one from this album so far. Uh, Miss Americana feels like just another filler track. Uh, 
paper rings. This is some disco type music, and that's the kind of music that I like. Yeah, I really like paper rings. Uh, Cornelia Street, pretty decent, but probably didn't need to be five minutes long. Uh, Death by a Thousand Cuts, feels like a filler track, but it's a pretty good filler track. So, W. Um, London Boy has a weird intro, Skull Emoji, but other than that, it's pretty good. Soon You'll Get Better is just not really my thing. Uh, False Gold, once again, not really my thing, but there's like a slight jazz sound to it, and if they'd like, in, 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 done it more, it'd be better, because I like that kind of sound. Um, you Need to Calm Down is kind of cringy, but it's like really fun. That's a, that's a good thing. Afterglow, it's just a kind of mid-song sandwich in between two of the best songs from the album. Uh, one of which being, ME! Exclamation mark. Such, it's just a really fun song. Like, it's one of her best, in my opinion. Like, it's, it's a banger. For real, for real. Um, it's nice to have a friend, kind of boring, and probably one of the worst from the album. Daylight, very, just, fine, and not really much special. Overall, this is my favourite album yet. I know there are a few mid-tracks on here, but when it bang, it's like her best work. I'm telling you, like, it's got like, four of her best, maybe for, like, some of her best songs, and it doesn't get, like, I want to rip my ears out bad, like, Reputation, or her self-titled, at any point. And it also doesn't have any country songs, like, Red, or Fearless. It's the perfect blend. This is what I thought 1971 would be. Um, so, it's an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10. That's a very, that is a first time on this, in this video, on her discography. Will the streak keep going? Because her next album is supposed to be her best. So let's go on to folklore. I am very excited at getting, I was very excited to get into this album. Because I've, I've heard it's like her best album. It's, it's my friend's favourite from her. It's my, like, sister's favourite from her, it's the, it's the best one, it's the it's a magnum opus. Um, the song, The One, which is also the one, the first, the one track from the album, the first one, and it's called The One. A pretty good start to hopefully a pretty good album. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Cardigan, uh, another really good song, uh, this one lives up to the hype, yeah, this album is definitely getting really promising, yeah, The Last Great American Dynasty, it's a filler track, but it's a good filler track, uh, those are kind of rare, Exile, uh, definitely the weakest from the album so far, uh, I don't like the other guy that was on the, that song, not in general, just on that song, not like I've heard any of his other things. But it's like a 7 out of 10 song. Um, My Tears Ricochet. It's, a, it's pretty alright. Uh, Mirable. More like Midable. Got him. 7. More like Midden. Midden these nuts. Got him. August. Yeah, definitely, you know, that one was definitely an improvement over the, the previous two tracks. Let's hope those are the only two mid-tracks for the rest of the album. I say that having already knowing what the rest of the tracks are like. Uh, this is me lying. It kind of sounds like a Pink Floyd song, except if Taylor Swift made it. It 
gives off Pink Floyd vibes, and I like Pink Floyd. Um, Illicat Affairs is a better one from this album. Invisible String is also another pretty good one from this album. Mad Woman. This album is like very acoustic. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of acoustic songs, especially when it's. Well, I, I like specific select songs, but I don't like listening to a full album of it because it just gets really repetitive. And the acoustic sound of this album is getting repetitive. And it's. <sighs> Epiphany. Another pretty generic one, Betty. The harmonica has a unique sound. <clears throat> so it makes it pretty good. So it's a highlight of the last few tracks. Peace. And this is where I start to get wanting this album to get over with because listening to what sounds like the same song over and over again is something I don't like to do, surprisingly. And Hoax. He's made me very glad this album was over. Honestly, I'm not going to call it overrated because it's just not for me. There are some good ones on here, but it's like a 6 out of 10. It's a good 6 out of 10 as well. So, you can like it all you want, but I didn't. Ratio Bozo. So, let's move on to the next one, which I somehow always forget exists. Evermore. Evermore. And as you can see, it's another day. It's the next day. It's not a month later like last time. I've got another shirt on. Let's get into it. Willow. Uh, it kind of sounds like generic pop. Champagne problems. Once again, more generic pop. I don't like generic pop very much. <sighs> Gold Rush. The whole album, so far, it kind of sounds like the last one, but like, entirely bad. Because the last one was just mostly acoustic sounding the whole way through, but there were some bangers, specifically in the beginning. This one has had nothing so far. Uh, Tis the damn season, because we're being edgy here, and if it wasn't for that name, I wouldn't tell it was a Christmas song. It sounds nothing like a Christmas song, other than the name and maybe some of the lyrics. It doesn't have a general sound, it just sounds like all of the other songs from this album. Which, it's not Christmas sounding, there's no like, there's no bells or nothing. It's not very good. Tolerate it. It's, it's really all just blending into one by this point. Uh, nobody, no crime. It kind of sounds like one of our old country songs, but like one of the good ones, um, apparently. Happiness is a, another one of whatever the opposite of a banger is. It's a stinker. Dorothea is another mid-song. Pony Island, now this one is worse than mid. It's bad, it's specifically bad. Ivy is kind of catchy, but it's not very good. Cowboy Like Me, uh, when will this album be over with? I haven't been saying that since something like Reputation, which was like my second least favourite. Uh, ma Majory is really mid. Long story short, is alright, but it's like, too little, too late. Closure, uh, the instrumental sounds robotic. I don't think that's a good thing. 
and the title track, Thank God It's Over. It is one of the worst albums from her. I didn't like it at all. It was like a 3 out of 10. It's her second worst one, in my opinion. But will things be revived in the final album from her? The most recent album from her? Which is... Midnight's. It's Midnight's. Um, let's, let's just see and find out. Lavender Haze is already leagues better than the previous anything from the previous album because uh, this song is catchy and it's not just generic acoustic music Maroon kind of too slow but I don't hate it uh, Antihero it might be really overplayed but it's still a super catchy song and it is a banger. Snow on the Beach, not very good and it has random, just unnecessary, explicit lyrics for some reason. It was really off, it caught me off guard. That like, it was force. You're on your own kid, not very good, but uh, not very bad. Uh, the, the min, hold on. Yeah, Midnight Rain, that voice effect is hot garbage, uh, but it's not the whole song. The whole song wasn't very good either. Question, dot 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 question mark. Uh, pretty annoying and more out of nowhere explicit music and it's unnecessary. Vigilante, really it just sounds like a 14 year old girl who's dyed her hair black and, and she thought she was really cool. But she wasn't bejeweled. One of my favorite choruses of her of her songs, and it's I really like it. It's one of my favorites. Labyrinth. This is something I could fall asleep to. That's I don't. That's not a good thing. Karma is a really good one, and I'm liking the magical sound. It's got like a magical fantasy sound to these songs. Sweet Nothing, the keyboard is good, but the rest is forgettable. Mastermind, the last one, and it was actually a good one. We ended on a, we ended on a good one. Overall, the, the general, as I said just then, the magicalness of the album is pretty good. Um, And also, what could also be said about this album, and also her discography as a whole, is there's some select really good moments, and a lot of it is not very good. Um, yeah, this album was like a 6 out of 10. It was alright. My overall ranking of the albums, 10 would probably be self-titled, 9 would probably be... Uh, Evermore, 8 would probably be uh, the, the Reputation, 7 would probably be Speak Now, 6 would probably be 1942, uh, 5 Folklore, 4 Midnights, 3 Fearless, 2 Red, and 1 Lover. Um, yeah, so that was me listening to her discography and reviewing it for you all. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Ciao.